<laughs> Ghana Armed Forces Mary Pachi. Oh. Okay, it's a Sunday morning and we are embarking on a surprise visit to Mary Mary Pachi's home. Actually, today is the day after she won the Ghana Fastest in Cape Coast. And we are surprising her today to dive into her private life, how she prepares, how she trains, what she goes through, behind the scene, everything about my watch. So let's get inside right now and see what's going on. But she's actually married. She's actually married. So I don't know what's going on in there, whether she's with her husband or what. So it's a surprise. She doesn't even know we are here. Remember to subscribe to Roman One TV. Share, comment, and like. Okay, Mrs. Mary, thank you very much for welcoming us to your home. Okay. We are so grateful. We are so honored to be in your humble home to have a short conversation with you right now. So most people here hear about me watching me watching a Ghanaian athlete, a national athlete. We don't really know the real you, okay? So we want uh, we want we want you to tell us something small about my watch. Who is actually my watch? Oh, okay. My watch is um okay. I'm my watch from Santi region. Tell me a little bit about your family. How how your family looks like? Um. Mm, okay. My family um. I didn't stay with my family. Yeah, I was um, I was with someone. So, so from um, at the age of I think five years or so, I didn't stay with my parents. I was staying with them somewhere. So, my parents. I don't know much about my parents. So, I can't tell much about my parents. Yeah, up to now. So. But both your parents are alive, right? Yeah, they are there. They are there. So, how how many siblings do you have? Because um, okay, actually, we are almost ten, and I'm the last born. Yeah. How how has your life been? How has your athletics life been? Where did you start athletics till now? How how was the journey like? Oh. It wasn't That's a easy. Very, very nice story about you. Yeah. Okay. At first, um, I started um around um, somewhere in JHS. Yes. Yeah, that, that time I used to run with my barefoot. So that uh, as for that time, yeah, I mean, like you don't know anything. So you are just doing just for fun. Yeah. So when I get to um. Um, SHS, what? Junior school was it? Was it? Which school was it? Um, Jabe, I was to Fukuo, I was seeing, yeah. So you were living in Jabe? Yes, yes. I was staying at, um, with my coach. Yes, um, his name is S2 Michael. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Michael Reggie. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, he took me everything, training, um, Everything, yeah. So I was staying with his mom, yeah, his mom and dad. So, so he actually introduced you to track and field. Yeah, he trained me, everything. So that's why. So you mean you started track and field in GHS? Yes, GHS. Okay, yeah. So how, how how did it progress? How where did it lead you to? From GHS. From GHS, then um after I completed um the GHS, I got a scholarship to um. SHS because of um, my sports. So there too. So which school was that? Um, Kumasi and Kind Senior High School. Okay, yeah. Super cars, right? Yes, super cars, yes. So that too, I got a scholarship free. So I didn't stop. I was really mad training, training. So as time goes on, I feel like um stopping the athlete. I feel like stop the um, stop training. Mm -hmm. By because of the coach, um, because of the, the coach I trained with, 
I couldn't stop. So I said, oh, okay, let me just run. After the um, completion of school, then I'll stop running. So. so where did you actually take track and food serious? Oh. After I got a job, yeah, we were there. I was at home and uh, my coach called me. He said, yeah. The Air Force is coming to do um, some trials to um, pick a recruit, so I should start training. Maybe I'll get a chance to um, join the service. Nine. So after the um, yeah, trials, so I came first. Uh, it was a national trial. Everybody, everybody was to this. So that's how it came. So you see, you're trying to tell, you, tell us that you started taking track and field serious after you entered the Ghana Air Force. Well. Yes. <laughs> after the trials, they pick us some some of the athletes. Then we joined the service. So after the service, um, that that time come that time no, we were not able to train. So we were working. So after they released us from the um, the work, so I sat down and talked to myself like. Hey Mary, you um you are old enough, so you don't need someone to come to you telling you that hey, do this, do this, don't do this. So train, don't train. That one day is fast. So just take your mind. Train at the end. It's, it it will lead somewhere, or you get some opportunities. So and I said okay, then I will start training seriously. So um. That's all, yeah. Okay. So let's get back to your SHS time, your senior high school yeah. track and field life. What were your achievements in track and field when you were in supercars? Yeah. So when I came to Form One, I was able to join the team for the um the co and the studio. Um the co, yes. I got a medal, um had a gold medal first, and then studio two. I win a medal. Medal in which event? 100 meters, 200 meters, and then 400 meters. Okay, so you yeah. win three events? Yeah, three events. That time, hey, 400, yes. I did 400, 400 flats. Mm. So that's who I won a medal, yes. Gold medal. After the Tokono Sizo, they select some athletes for the, to represent the Ashanti region. That's who I was part. So once, um, once, for um, regionals competition and um, somewhere in um ho i think it, it was ho yeah that's who i want a medal yeah what yeah. region that place too i want a medal gold medal 100 meters 200 meters that's to then you come back again um when i got um shs2 the same thing because that time they i was on scholarship so i don't joke with my training and then my everything. So that's who the co. I want a medal, 100 meters medal, 200 meters, 400 meters, the same thing. So I want a medal, 100 meters, 20 meters. That's it. That we went to another um, regional to that place. Oh, that time we were plenty. So I don't even run all the events. I choose um, two. Yeah, 100 and 200. And then I leave the rest to him. So from to me, that time, the, you know. When you get um, some opportunities to travel or you get some funds, that one day your 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 head will become big, so you won't train. You'll be doing guy guy. So when I get to form three, I wasn't training. Be like, ah, I won't go anywhere. I won't go to train. So when it's time for um to cool and see, so hey, how am I going to run without training? So I see myself um that's why I can't take, I can't run. So let me just support the team. So that time. I couldn't run. I couldn't take part in the track, so I was joining the team, but I didn't even run some. Because you weren't taking the training. Yes, so. yes, I wasn't training, so. Okay. You run your personal base this year, right? Yeah. So, what about, about your personal base and tell, tell us the history behind your personal base? That, that is 11, 5, 5 seconds. Right? Yeah. That's my personal base. Hmm. First, I can say it's determination and then hard training. Yeah. Because I sat I sat down and talked to myself. I want to run this time. You I was expecting um ten and nine. Yeah. I was expecting ten and nine. So 
I I talked to myself why both are running that thing and so why can't me run the same time? So let me train and train hard because if you determine something, definitely you will get it. Though even if you get you won't get that time compared, like at least you can able to do some some yes. Okay, people used to say um your personal best and your strength all came as a result of you getting a job and you feeling okay in life okay right now or you meeting the right kind of coach or you moving from ashanti region to takrade right now what do you have to say about that oh if you say um it's because of the coach um i'm working with that's why i can able to make that tama that one day i'm not agree because they can give you um the best coach on this eight but if you the athletes didn't psych yourself or if you at least didn't do it when the coach give you this workout and then you at least you like you don't do it better and better that one you can't run we have um plenty coaches like plenty coaches coaches with um athletes but the athletes um didn't perform or they can't run um the good time because of their athletes because they, they don't focus or they don't not say they don't they won't train or they train but things um when the coaches tell them they should do this maybe they won't do do this they will do different thing that one day you can't you can't do it yes so, so are you trying to tell us because you are you respect your coach and you follow your coach's instructions and you do exactly what your coach asks you to do during the day yes I, w I always follow him because your coach is your everything he knows best than you so when your coach tells you do this just do do this because he knows what will help you and what won't help you so when your coach tells you something at least you have to do do it and do it if you have anything you can't unless do it after that then you comfort your coach coach this 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 he, he too knows what is good and what's not good so that's the coach name Oh, shepherd! Oh, my coach, aka alligator. Yeah. So what's what's your relationship with him? How is your oh yeah, we are like um brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers. Oh, like we are like everything. Hmm? Like yeah, we vibe a lot. So we vibe. Oh, we vibe. Yeah. Let's jump straight into your marriage life right now. Ah. Okay. The most Ghanaian female Alice somehow sorry for using this word perish after giving birth or after marriage okay many 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 Ghana allies female allies perish after get, getting married or giving birth so what 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 made you so different you you are running your personal best immediately after you, you got married you you are performing well after you got a job you are performing well when you uh, when when you start you started to feel comfortable in life Mm. Oh. What, what 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 do you do different? What's so different about? <laughs> oh, it's like um. Let me tell you. If if you get married or if you um get pregnant, let, let me say it, if you get married, it doesn't mean um you can't train or you can't run again. And it's and I've already said it's a determination. And moreover. I, my husband um if sometimes i don't feel like training but he will force me to train he supports me he do everything for me so there's no need for me to stay in the house doing nothing so you, you were called into the national team this year since you started track and field you, yeah this is your first time yeah uh, being called up for the national team and you traveled to birmingham this year yeah that was the commonwealth games right yeah okay so how, how how was your experience there? How? Oh my god, it was great. I was able to meet um the international athletes, Shania Fiza Price, um uh, Ellen Thompson. Oh, those top athletes, I was able to meet them. It was great. It was a great yeah. So which which events did you do in UK in, in doing the Commonwealth Games? Oh I was supposed to run hundred meters flat, but due to some certain things be I couldn't take part so um i did um four by one really so i start for the team so you started at four by one yeah okay. yes so you're running side by side with your your, your, your team consisted of who and who? 
Oh, my team, it was um, Latifa Ali and then Gifti Okukachua and then Ho Haluti. Yeah. How do you go about your training? Being a married woman and being a soldier in Ghana here. And how, how do you go about your training? How is your training schedule? Uh, as already said, um, my husband always supports me, so when it's time for training, I just pick my bag and then go. Um, I trained in the afternoon, yes, but I won't sleep out for the afternoon, then I, I, take, I pick my bag and then go. Uh, in the morning, I will try to do some shake-up, uh, some heels or some small, small stretching. Okay, so after the, after the afternoon, then I go. So you train in the afternoon with your coach? Yes, yes, it's my coach, Arigeta. What made you a better, a better athlete? Oh, my secret is um, discipline. Yeah. Discipline. Yeah. Discipline, respect, and then obedience. That's all. I'm very sure you hear things about yourself outside. Maybe on the internet or you meet people, people say something that, hey, they thought you were like this, or but, but as they met you, as they got closer to you, they've known how, how you really relate with people, how you really are, who you really are. And so I want to ask, um, how, how do people see you? How, how do people see you? And what is two questions? And what do you want the general public to know about you? Oh, some people see me like i don't like people or i don't like mingle with people or friends but i'm free if you come to me or if i see you i just greet you play with you do everything with you i'm free so if you see me and you didn't get closer to me you wouldn't know much about me but when you get closer to me you will know that me i'm free yeah and i love everybody that's what did you want to tell the general public and everyone who, who only sees your competitions, your great performance, and doesn't understand what goes on, what what, what sacrifices you put in to get to that level. Okay. How do you, how do you have okay. To tell them? The only thing I would tell them is, um, I can't remember um, the the first day they released us from work. Yeah, that time it was it was. Um, a week before um, the, some competition, so they told us we would go for that competition and they said, hey, we, we haven't trained yet, so what are we going to do? So they said they don't care, they just want to see us running, so we went, hey, come and see. The way they beat me, I wanted to even stop. I was last, hit, oh, the hit, only hit, it was, I came last, quarter, 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 quarter. I can't even beat. So when we came, when we came back, and my coach said, at least see how they fire you. And I said, yes, coach, for now, they, it won't happen again. So I started training hard. Very serious. When it's raining, shining, hey, I will still be inside the rain and train. All, all, all the, some, of, um, some of the athletes will stop. But me, I said, me, I won't stop unless I finish this workout. So sometimes I feel like using a um, block to cool my heart because I'm, I'm tired. I'm very tired. I'm really, really tired. So, still now, I will force myself and do it. What's your ultimate goal in track and field? Where do you want to see yourself in the next two years or in the next two oh, years? Alright. I want to see, I want to see myself as the most top athlete, or most, most top sprinter in this world. Yeah. Um, I would be glad if, um, I will get a sponsor or a support from anybody. I will be glad to have that opportunity. Yes. How is Ghana Armed Forces track and field right now? Oh, right now, I can bold enough to say um, Ghana Armed Forces, we have a best team. Yes, we have a best team. And everybody's serious training. Ah! This this time around, if you joke, if you um, bench ground, but you get you get a seat there. Right now, everybody is seriously training hard. Everybody, 
and then um, 100 meters we have four five six day 200 four five six day all the events we have more at the so if you didn't train if you didn't train hard i don't think you get a chance to run some when do you plan to retire from track and field oh. <sighs> um that's what i want mm -hmm. i can't tell but as for me even to tomorrow guy i can i can stop by my husband he's not agree with me so he said i will run out to a uh, judgment day so so are you trying to tell us that you are doing are, are you doing track and food for yourself because you love it because you have the passion for it or you are doing it for your husband oh i'm doing it for myself for for example when I get when I get a chance to travel outside, it was not my husband who traveled. It was me. So I'm just doing it for myself. Yeah. That means he 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 motivates. You. Yeah, he, he motivates me. He gave me vim. If it thinks um I feel like hey, this one day I can't do, I will come hey, okay, this one day I can't do. I say hey hey, you know, don't say that you can't do it. I know you can't do it. Go go go. I support it. All right. So what do you think can cause your immediate shutdown like let's see you just you just won the ghana fastest human in kekus yesterday right yeah so you've qualified for the finals i think it's next month september yeah so what do you what do you think can cause your immediate shutdown um for now what me what will shut me down is um so just course yes if they called me for course that one day i don't think i can able to run the, the way i used to run again because we'll be doing some duties some things so you won't get a chance to train so i think that's the only problem i have you've been in track and field for a very long time yeah. let's see can i say 10 years yeah almost from um jhs fhs and then after the work here yeah, almost, almost 10 10 years years right yes okay so looking at your challenges things you went through in your head in the society till now what do you have to tell the upcoming athletes anyone who is striving to be like you because many many Ghanaian athletes especially female athletes are looking up to you and m most many like and many male athletes too are looking up to you when it comes to your stats you, you are one of the best in Ghana right now both male and female when it comes to stats from the blocks so many athletes are looking up to you what do you have to tell all the upcoming athletes right now oh okay what i will tell them is they shouldn't stop training or they shouldn't listen to others because others some people will tell you hey uh why a lady like you look at your body look at here they should, they should listen to them they should focus and focus on track they should focus and train and train at the end even they will they will more than me so this is what i would tell them they should keep hard focus and focus at the end they will achieve their aim yeah all right what do you have to tell your fans all over the world Oh, okay what i would tell them is they should keep supporting me they should keep praying for me yeah, i love them oh this shout out goes to um first my husband mr Amako. okay i love you and my mom my dad my sisters and i do my kill okay hi you do my kill hmm. and Coach Shepherd, aka Alligator, Abbasan, Billy Billy, and Gifty. I really love you all. And all the athletes in Ghana. I really love everybody. I like you. I love you. I miss you all. I love you all. Mm -hmm. And please remember to subscribe to Lumen One TV. Share, comment, and like. Okay. Thank you all. Love you. Bye.